on that matchup yet? Well, I mean, I, I am very familiar with Providence. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've had a hell of a run in the second half of the season going through the Big East and then in the Big East tournament making it to the finals before losing to Marquette. When you look at the season they've had more recently, I think uh, three of their four most recent losses are against Marquette and Georgetown, who are two of the top teams in the country. So they're obviously playing at a very high level right now, uh, and I'm sure they're thrilled to be a part of it as well. So I would expect a really good game Thursday night. How, do you, how does this 2013 squad match up, do you think, or compare to the 2010 squad, if there's any comparison to be made? You know, I don't think you see it in the records, but I think uh, in the locker room it's a very similar team. It's, it, they've got a, we've got some tremendous senior leadership. It's a, it's a bigger-than-usual senior class uh, who have really been a, a close-knit group throughout the season. Um, and, I, and I think the, the real difference between the teams with the record has to do with the schedule we played. We really went out and challenged ourselves. and. Fortunately, it worked out how we had planned. We wanted to play those games to prepare us for the Ivy League and position us for success in the league, and I think it did that. So uh, I think this group and the 2010 group, there's a lot of similarities in the locker room. We, we've really got to focus on Providence. I mean, every team we're going to face from this point forward, uh, I would imagine that to the general public we're going to be viewed as an underdog, and we're fine with that. We, we, there's a lot of confidence in our locker room, uh, and we're looking to get started. That's good. What are your initial thoughts watching and get called on the on the bracket there? Yeah, my, my heart's still beating pretty fast right now. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting to get a, a home game for the first round, so I think that's it's just unbelievable. The feeling's amazing right now. What's that What's that home advantage mean to you guys at this point of the season going into that province? It definitely means a lot. We have a lot of momentum going forward right now, um, and we know we can get a lot of people out to this game, and, and that we've done well at home this year. So I think it's, it's going to be great to have the support of our friends and everyone else at, at school and our family to be there with us. As far as this team's momentum right now, having that climactic finish to the season at Harvard, dominating them, especially in the first half, how much momentum do you guys bring into the Providence matchup? Definitely going to bring a lot of momentum. Um, team morale is really high right now. Um, going back to my freshman year, um, we had actually lost our last game of the season going into the first round of the tournament. And so, you know, we didn't have as much momentum going in. We felt like we didn't uh, accomplish as much towards the back half of the year. But this year, you know, we've, we've played well towards the back half of the year. And we have a lot of momentum. Um, everybody's happy with the way we're playing. And we all have this belief in us that we can make a deep run in the tournament. Or, you know. What would you say this team's greatest strength is right now? I mean, the, that. yeah. that's kind of yeah. shifted as the season has progressed. Yeah, it certainly. Um, I think our defense has improved a lot. Um, we're able to deal with set pieces and set plays um, a lot better than we have in the past. And, you know, our counterattack is really dangerous. We have we have four guys we can plug into forward, and all of them are, are extremely dangerous up there. So we have a lot going for us going forward, I think. What is the excitement with the team right now as you guys uh, – prepare for first NCAA tournament game in a few years? Uh, really excited. This is my, personally my first game as well. A lot of excitement there. And as a team, we were excited because we have the home game. We weren't really expecting that. A nice surprise. So we get to play in front of our home fans on Rose Fields again. Uh, kind of a, a second senior night in a way for us. So to get back and play on Rose at the end of the season is really something special. Um, as one of the captains of the team, you guys had I mean, a major struggle last year. So, how can you say about what can you say about the transformation of the team from last year's three and thirteen finish to now being an Ivy League champion and part of the NCAA tournament? Um, I think it's a mentality and determination of the team. It started in the spring, the first day after winter break. We were on the track in the morning in the cold. Remember that day, and then I remember that day, the first day of preseason, drawing back to that all the all the hard work we put in in the spring 
and we we there was an aura around the around the team that this year we're going to culminate into something special. And it, the fruit of our labor is being in the tournament at this moment. And we still have a push. Anything can happen in the tournament. All the games are winnable. So we'll see where we go from here. Yeah, and even in this season, you guys had uh, some adversity with a six-game losing streak. You know, losing players like, you know, Stephen Baker for, you know, parts of games, Tyler Kinn for a game. How have you guys tried to, you know, work around some of that and still come out on top in the end? Uh, I think something different we did this year than last year. Last year we tried to work around it. This year we sort of stepped in head first and sort of addressed those problems and went through those problems. We weren't afraid to go into a game. We have trust in everyone in the locker room. With the 11 men we put on the field, we knew we were going to get a result either way. And even when the six games didn't go our way, we knew we gave 100% effort, effort and that's, that's all we can ask for. And we knew if we kept doing that, things would turn around, and they did. Coming off of the emotional victory at Cambridge, you guys take that 2 nothing victory. How do you guys respond in practice this week and try to prepare for another big game right on top of it? Uh, I think we're going to do much more of the same. Uh, it's been working so far, past couple games, and so we're going to approach the same mentality. Although Providence is a different team, we're going to do some things catered to them specifically, but just a lot of energy, a lot of focus, and a lot of determination. So what was it like seeing Penn's name caught on the caught on the bracket TV oh. just now? <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's always awesome. I knew we were expecting it because we got the automatic bid. Right. It's always always great to see your name up on TV. Uh, but uh, the, the fact that it was a home game with the uh, asterisk yeah. next to it was definitely a nice surprise. We were really excited about that. Yeah, and what is that? What is that home advantage being at Rhodes mean to this team having the success it's had at Rhodes this season? Um, it's it's definitely huge. Um, we we know that. I mean, we're familiar with roads, so it's definitely a field that we can play on and practice on leading up to the game, which will definitely give us a little bit more of a feel for how the game's going to go. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a chance for us to have a home game and pack it and get as many fans out as possible. Can you talk about specifically the defensive side of things, the momentum that you guys have built up as the season has, has progressed and how that's going to... Yeah. factor into Providence? The the defense has definitely been the one thing that uh, changed a lot from last year to this year, and they've stepped up, and we've got four guys that back there that have just been battling, and then uh, whether it's Max or Tyler, Tyler and Goal, um, they've done a fantastic job, and um, the, the teams that we played early on were definitely very quality teams that were very good, and that definitely helped prepare us for uh, the games in the Ivy League where we had success on defense and had shutouts. What, what do you think the key has been to that defensive step up from last year? Is it is the greater competition a part of it? Is it seniority? Like, what, Def, what's the biggest factor? a little factor? bit of seniority, yeah. uh, greater competition. Um, the, the spring season that we had uh, just kind of drove in the point that we needed to be better defensively and kind of we worked on it and worked on it and worked on it and finally started to hit our stride and have been riding that ever since. Right. Regardless of the result in, you know, against Providence Thursday, how successful of a season would you consider the 2013 campaign at this point? I mean, it's, it's been a, a great success. Winning the Ivy League championship is something that I mean, a lot of people can only dream of, and we were able to come together as a group and kind of accomplish that. And Definitely between finishing in seventh last year to first this year and it being my senior year with uh, the group of guys that I've played with, it's, it's been unbelievable, and I couldn't have asked for anything more. Right. One thing that I've been asking a few people is, do you think there's a comparison to be made between this squad and the 2010 squad from your freshman season? Uh, the main comparison I'd say with that is uh, the senior classes. I think there were six or seven seniors my freshman year and there's seven this year and just everybody brings a different dynamic but um, we've we've had a saying all year that we just gotta we get, as a class we have to be airtight and um, everybody just kind of brought something different to the table but had the same collective goal and that has definitely been contagious. Yeah, networks, we hope you will be able to attend the championship and the games leading up. For more details, including ticket information, recaps, and highlights, be sure to check back here on NCA.com. So thank you for joining us today on NCA.com. Congratulations to all the teams that are in the tournament, and good luck to all the student athletes moving forward. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, too. All right, fellas, we'll see you training 3.30 today.